Go take a progress pic and look at it. Be honest with yourself. Look in the mirror. And if you take that progress pic and look at yourself, it's a, it's a reality check. That's why a lot of clients, they don't want to, or, or I've had clients come in and say to me, I said, okay, we're doing measurements this week. They're like, oh no, I don't want to get on the scale today. I'm like, why? They're like, you really want to ruin my day like that? I'm like, you ruined your own day. You're ruining your own day because I'm holding you accountable, making you get on the scale, making you face the reality, and you keep denying it. You're in denial, completely resistant against it. And that's why people don't change. It's all about their mindset. Their mindset's totally screwed. It's like they have to rewire their, their, their thinking because it all yeah. starts with your mind, right? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, I just, I don't, I used to, uh, be softer as a person and trainer, but could you could you get because because people get sensitive, right? Yeah, I people mean, get sensitive, I just, but that doesn't. So whereas by being uh, 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 too overly sensitive towards somebody's feelings, yeah, that you it learn help them. it doesn't help them. It gets it gets them nowhere because you don't want to hurt their feelings or you 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 take their body fat and and their body fat goes up, right? And they're so sensitive, and you know that once you tell them that it's just going to ruin their whole day, but. Yeah. It's, it's just a reality check. Exactly. It's a reality yeah. check and, and it bothers them, but I don't think it bothers them enough. Because it bothered them, if it bothered them enough, I think they would change make a big change. Yeah, about so it. I don't and, and keep in mind, when we refer to the word fat, don't take that personal, don't take that in the wrong way. Nobody's being mean, it's just being honest. If your body fat is at a certain level, that makes you fat. Nobody called you ugly, nobody said you're a bad person, nobody said anything like that. If you're fat, you're fat. If you're lean, you're lean. Straight up. That's it. Hey, you know, and if you take it personal, fuck it. That's a good thing. I mean, it, it, if it stings, change it, you know? I if mean, you don't like it, do something about you it. You, it's not, and, and you can't sit there and, and, and point fingers at somebody like Alex here or myself who tries to maintain, to maintain their physique and tries to stay lean. You point your fingers and say, oh, well, they're just lean, so they're just talking about somebody who's fat or anything like that. No, this takes work. This is hard work every day. Wake up in the morning, eat the same breakfast over and over. Get on the, the treadmill or the bike when you don't feel like doing it. Hating every minute of it, but I do it because I know the consequences. I know what's gonna happen. If I don't do my cardio, if I don't eat my egg whites and oatmeal for breakfast, if I skip that last meal, I'm gonna pay the consequences. You know what the consequences are? For me, is mentally accepting, looking in the mirror and not liking what I see and accepting that and saying it's because I'm being lazy, it's because I'm skipping my cardio, because I'm not doing what I need to do. That's it, it's not, it's not any easier for me than it is for somebody else who's overweight and they make excuses and say, well, it's my thyroid, well, it's this, well, it's that. It's science, Take, eat, move more, eat less. Hit a caloric deficit and you lose weight. Hold yourself accountable. Track your macros. You're saying it's your thyroid. Are you tracking your macros? Are you doing cardio? Are you working out five to six days a week? Are you meal prepping? Are you holding yourself accountable? No. And you sit there and just make an excuse and say it's my thyroid or it's, it's this or that. You're not doing any of the above. And you did it for like one week and then gave up and said, oh, this doesn't work. It's a lifestyle. You do it for, for not for Oh, I'm going to go on a three-month diet. I'm going to go on a six-month diet. I'm going to, I'm going to do this 30-day. That, that's BS. This is a lifestyle. You say, I'm going to change my life. You wake up and you make a decision that you're going to do this for the rest of your life. And it's habits. It's going to, you can undo those bad habits just like you can incorporate good habits to where it becomes a habit. You know, it, it's, it's building habits. You can undo bad habits and you can ingrain those good habits. And that's how you change your life. Yeah, it just, right? it, yeah, exactly. I mean, bottom line is most of the people out there, even we all need coaches, period. I mean, the best athletes in the world who are already disciplined, already successful. Why are they where they, they have at? coaches? Because they have a coach. They don't need motivation, but you need someone who's on the outside looking in to be able to see where you're slipping and make those corrections and hold you accountable to it. I mean, I even have a coach. Uh, as I prep for a, a bodybuilding show, right? Why? Because I, I, I'm humble. I realize I don't know it all. And there's more I could learn, there's more I could do. And there's someone out there who knows more than me that can help me. So the bottom line is more people need coaches. And if you're not willing to hire a coach and invest in yourself, then that's the delusional, egotistical part of you who thinks that you know enough and that you can do it on your own. But the, the problem is, if you haven't achieved the result yet on your own and you've been trying for years, you're not going to get it. You need help. And that's the bottom line. You need a coach. 
You need someone to hold you accountable, and you just need the right coach. It doesn't matter how much you know, but you, it's, 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 you're, you're still a human being, and, and uh, you know, we're, we're very easy to go back to our bad habits, so you have to, it's, it's not, it's not, if you pay for a coach, it doesn't necessarily have to be like, he has some knowledge that I don't have. You could have more knowledge than him. It's about having somebody to hold yourself accountable. When I first did my first bodybuilding show, I was 16 years old. What did I do? I hired a personal trainer and a coach. There's no way. And the end result, he he killed me. He had me in the gym like leg day, like crawling out of the gym on all fours. I remember I I, I uh, he took me through a leg workout and I, I crawled over on, on my hands and he had me supersetting leg extensions and stiff leg deadlifts. Mm -hmm. No rest, back to back. And there was so much blood in my legs, I felt my, like my legs were gonna just bust open. So I'm 16 years old, first time experiencing like a pump like that, and that's when I realized what a pump was. And uh, I remember crawling over to the, to the wall on my hands and knees and sitting against the wall. And I remember my, my, my trainer walking up to me, he's like, are you okay? Are you okay? And everything was just closing in. It was like black. And I remember his voice was kind of just echoing and he was fading away. He's like, are you good? Are you okay? And I just remember and um, I finally got back to where I could hobble to the bathroom and I, I puked up all my eggs and oatmeal. Damn. But my point is I hired a coach, he pushed me. Had I not hired a coach, I would have been half-assing those workouts. Carb depleted, tired, overtrained, all the cardio, everything. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have pushed myself through those workouts. He held me accountable and we handled business. So I got on stage, the end result, very first show. I got first place and I got overall. I was 16 years old and I competed uh, for the overall after winning first place in my weight class. I competed against somebody who was 19 and I beat him, I smoked him because he, 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 he didn't do the work and you could tell by looking at his physique. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the physique doesn't lie, right? Oh yeah. If, that's, if you don't do your work, yeah, hey, that's, that, that's, that's brutal. That right there. That's the your best thing. shows it. Listen, your body, the best thing about our body and our conscience is that neither of them ever lie. So your conscience, our conscience is always guiding us and telling us the right things to do. It's our emotions and our feelings that get in the way and we end up talking ourselves out of what's best for us. But our conscience is always guiding us and telling us, you should do this, you should do that. And when we do something wrong, our conscience tells us that it was wrong, right? It's, it's that accountability, but also our body doesn't lie. That's the beautiful thing about the body is your body is a reflection of your habits and your choices. So for the person who lives in a manner who disrespects himself every day, their body is a reflection of that. And when you see somebody with an amazing physique, it shows that, hey, this person is disciplined and they live in a manner that, is, that shows that they care about themselves and they love themselves and the results speak for itself. Our, that's the greatest thing about our bodies. We can't, we can't. You can lie to yourself, you can, you can get money to cover things up, you can get cars, you can get material things to, 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 to hide your weaknesses. You, you, you can pay for, uh, for, for surgery. You can see your body, it doesn't You doesn't can pay, lie. right, to get your body right, but it, it's still somebody who, 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 somebody who knows, knows and understands the body, we see it. We see through it, we see through it. And it looks, and it looks we, like, we see right through all that. it looks like shit. It does, I'm sorry, but it looks like shit. It's not, you cannot, you, nothing, and, and I mean nothing can replace hard work and, and, and sacrifice. Nothing. Nothing. Ever. No, There's no way around it. Hard work and sacrifice, I mean, that's, that's the American dream. That's how people's dreams come true. And uh, it's the same with, with achieving the ultimate physique, the body you want. You There's have no to put in the work day, at, day in, day out, no brick by brick. And there's no, way, there's no way around it. There's no way around the work. And the work is what is what makes us proud of ourselves versus uh, doing a surgery or something, taking the easy way out. I, I lived my whole life taking the easy way out and it never got me anywhere. And I'm not proud of any of it. But now that I do what's hardest for me, I can go to bed and lay my head on my pillow every night knowing that I'm proud of myself because I didn't take the easy way out. I did what was hardest. I put in the work and I just continue to do that every day and stick to the process. So you've learned a lot from that. So taking the easy way out, let's speak on that. So oh, man, um, yeah. making, uh, uh, make, making, 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 where, where has that gotten you? What did you, what have you learned in your life from taking the easy way out? You've learned a hard lesson, I think, from, from yeah, taking the easy way yeah. out, but you've come a long way. So what, what do you have, what, what can you say to somebody who, who, who is, who's trying to learn? Yeah, and maybe straddling the fence between, yeah. you know, 
which way they want to go. Take, and take, taking the easy way out, taking the yeah. easy road, right? No matter what you're doing in life, no matter what, whatever it comes to, your, your work life, uh, your, your diet, your physique, whatever it is, just in general, choices that you make in life, when you take the easy road, there's no, there's no way around hard work and, 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 and making tough choices and, and you got to take the hard road. You got to challenge yeah. yourself. So not doing that in the past, we've all done that. But some of us took it to other extremes yeah. at some times, one way or another.